I'm Joseph Scaveris with CET Color, and today we're going to go over our latest addition to our product line, the Q6500L. L stands for linear. So before we used to have a belt-driven machine, uh, so we had a belt and a pulley that would pull the carriage across going from left to right. Now we actually have a linear system which is held by a magnetic drive. So it increases speed and also cuts down on some of your wear and tear and consumables that you may have. So if you didn't know about CET Color, CET Color is a wide format manufacturer. We are uh, located here in Atlanta, Georgia. We have about a 100,000 square foot warehouse facility where we do manufacturing for our hybrid printers, our flatbed printers, and our roll to roll printers. Today we have our Q6500 linear. And this machine is really nice because it's a 4x8 model, so we're able to put any type of corrugated material, MDF material, coroplast, acrylics, anything like that on here to be able to print to. Uh, we have a 4-inch head gap, so unlike some manufacturers have a 2-inch head gap, we're able to go an additional 2 inches so that we're able to actually get to some really thick materials if we need to. The unique part about our machines are we have a Ricogen 6 print heads in the machine itself. Uh, this is an upgrade from the Rico Gen 5, so the head itself is a little bit bigger, has a little bit more nozzles so that it can increase our speed capacity and also our dock placement. Also something that is a little bit different from other manufacturers is that we are able to upgrade our print heads. So we have three rows in this machine. So if you think about it, we have one row, two row, three row. We can fill all of those rows with print heads or we can start off with a singular row and upgrade later down the road. So if a customer comes to us and says, hey, I need to be able to be at this price point, be able to, to print at this many boards per hour, um, then we're able to actually meet those needs. And if their production volume grows like uh, it should, and over time it will, then they're able to add more print heads to the mix and be able to meet the demands of their customers as well. Right now in this specific printer, we've got six CMYK heads in here. You can uh, start off with just two CMYK heads if you wanted to. You also can add white into the mix. You can add light cyan, light magenta into the mix. You can also add varnish into the mix. So with our varnish, uh, it actually will go on our third row. Um, it's a little bit of a different feature. It allows for us to have a clearer varnish. We don't have as much banding that can happen with some other manufacturers and some other ink types out there. And our LED system is actually set up to be make it really easy, really easy to use if you do want to add varnish now or later down the road uh, when it's something that you need to add to it. So as we move over from the uh, carriage over here, our machines have a few different little features about them that make it unique. So we actually have power buttons, e-stops, everything like that for everybody who needs to be safe and whatnot. But we have a vacuum system. Our vacuum system actually holds down very well, holds material um, flat. It needs to be also will also turn into a blower and blow your material off for you. So if you have something that's got real much like kind of a little bit of staticky or anything like that to it, and it holds it down and you have a hard time peeling it back off, you can actually reverse this, turn it into a blower, material will blow right off for you. The other nice part about it is, is we actually have a automatic pin registration system. So the pins will pop up, we can align our material uh, wherever we need to. Uh, if we're going to be printing in the middle, if we're going to be printing on the right side or the left side, we can align our material that way it's completely straight, completely flat, and that way we can go ahead and go begin printing. Our, our printer also does auto check registration, so we will have an automatic pin registration that will come down check the height of the material and the thickness of it, let the care, the printer know, hey, it's two inches thick, it's you know, 0.75 inches thick, whatever it may be, um, and then it will go back to its home position and begin printing. That way you have a clear, concise, accurate test, know exactly how thick your material is, you don't have to worry about miking it or anything like that, and you don't have to worry about any type of head crashes as well. Uh, the printer, if you do have any type of material that does pop up on you at all, we do have crash guard sensors on either side of the, of the carriage, so that way if it does run into something, it will let the printer know and the onboard PC know, hey, I've run into something. It'll raise itself back up, come over to its own position, ask you if you want to continue printing or if you want to cancel the job or anything like that. We also have a static suppression kit built into the, into the carriage. So as it's going back and forth over your prints, you don't have to worry about too much static. We do still recommend that you wipe down your material with alcohol. You have a, a clean environment and your humidity is appropriate. All those things will make it very, very easy for you to be able to print on whatever type of material that you want to. As we move over, we do have different zones of our printer uh, to be able to help with holding down material. We have four different vacuum zones right here. So it controls four different parts of, of the bed itself. We can turn off other zones to be able to help pull suction over to the specific zone that we're going to print to. So if we were only printing on the left side over here, we would turn off all three other ones and just have that one open. And then we can also, if it's still something that may have a little bit of a, a difficult time holding itself down because it's warped maybe, 
And then we can also cover the entire other holes with some additional material to be able to even help suction pull over as well. So, but these vacuum zones are very helpful, especially if you are printing an abnormal piece and it's not a full four by eight sheet, it helps you to be able to keep everything uh, steady and in place as it needs to be. As we move over, we also do have a onboard PC. So this is unique to, I would say us and a few other manufacturers, but a lot of times there are buttons and there are different types of switches and everything like that, that an operator actually has to go through and press on the machine itself. Ours is a little bit different. We build a PC that's specifically dedicated for the machine. Um, it has a controller on it, so we use Onyx as our RIP software, where we set up the file, how many quantity that we want to have, if we want to add white, orientation, everything like that, and then we actually send it over uh, to the controller. And then the controller then will actually tell the printer, hey, I need to print you know, this specific job. So you can have, nice part about it, you can have your art department use Onyx and set up the files like they need to be, and then they can send it over to the print operator, and all they have to do is hit file print. So it cuts down on that print operator having to wear multiple hats. Uh, you can have that print operator use Onyx, obviously, if that's something that you want to do, but it's something that's very nice. You can control how many uh, cleanings that the machine does, you can control your material thickness, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. All of everything that you need to do on the machine is all done based through the PC of the controller. So it also helps transmit data a lot faster than you know, the you know, older methods and uh, allows for our customers to have a better production time. This specific printer right here, um, with its size and the amount of heads that it has in it, is capable of doing, in our production modes, upwards of 20 boards an hour. Um, now, obviously, we have different draft speeds and we have different production modes, high quality and quality levels. So depending upon what you are looking for and the quality of print that you want to get out of it, um, then that time can change. But our normal production mode, um, which is standard for across the board, is going to be about 20 boards an hour at our max amount of, of heads, which is six CMYK heads. If you lower the amount of heads in it, then obviously you're going to lower that production speed. Um, but still, at the price point that it is and the speed that it offers, it's a great value. And uh, so, yeah, we look forward to this printer being out in the market and uh, looking forward to see what our customers have to say about it. I know that they're going to be super happy.